More index cards. Oh boy. Stick around. <laughs> Folks, Old Man Grognard here. Hope you're all doing well. And today we have another we have another review of the Index Card RPG Master Edition. Okay, yes, I'm a little late to the train on this one, but here it is. Let's take a look inside, okay? All right, there we are. We got the Index Card RPG Master Edition. Very well done, very well laid out. As you can see, it's it's similar to the core book, same layout, full page, you know, full full page there, and it's done very well. It's got a player's guide, it's got a GM's guide. It goes into the different worlds that you can use with it or make up your own. Um, monsters, there are monsters here, boy. Take a look at that. Very well laid out, easy to read easy to reference, which is what I like. That's, uh, and it's got all sorts of, all sorts of goodies in here, even a magic section. Not bad for combining three books in one. And here's my character sheets. You can find a character sheet on the PDF or in the back of this. And the tables, take a look at these tables. Nice tables, monster selector, monster maker, all kinds of loot in there. So there you go. That is the layout of the Index Card RPG Master Edition. Take it away, Glenn. That's pretty much the inside of the book right there. Now this was published in 2021. It's about 400 pages. So it's twice the size of the core edition. And it was by, it's by Hanker and Fernell with art by Brandish Gillum, which I believe is the same person. Okay, this one includes the core book Look my see my other review for that. This includes the core book plus uh, ICRPG Worlds and ICRPG Magic. Now this one has five worlds in it, and not only it only had two before. It had Alfheim and Warp Core. This is Alfheim, Warp Core, Blood and Snow, Vigilante City, and the fifth one, which I can never remember for some reason. Let me recall Ghost Mountain. That's it, Ghost Mountain. So you got a fantasy world. You got a sci-fi world. You have a a Deadlands type world. You have a superhero world, and you also have a caveman world, which is nice. Let me show you what the character sheet looks like, if you can see it here, because this thing reflects. Okay, if you notice, there's six stats here. Same as D and D, only they're not really stats; they're pluses. They're plussing your to hit roll or whatever you're doing. Um, what you have is everything in here has a target number. Everything, uh, every scene, every every skill you have to do, every lock you have to pick, every you know things things you have to avoid. If you were doing a save or or some kind of skill check or something like that, or even combat. You're hitting a target number and the whole scene has a target number. I like the way this works because you can set the target number in the scene, like say 12. And if it's really hard, you take a minus three on it, which is so you have to so you have to be 15. And if it's easy, you take a minus three on. Did I say plus or minus? I don't remember. But anyway, plus for harder, minus for three, minus three for easier. So that would be nine. You, so you roll over basically on a d20. Now, once you do that, that's the first part. Think of it as, as this way. Anything you do, you got to hit it, you got to damage it, just like a battle, if you think about that, because they have something called effort, which is your damage, which is your how well you succeed, because everything in this game also has hearts. What are hearts, you say? Hearts are 10 hit points. That's what it is. That's how you do, it's like a video game. That's how you do it. You do it with hearts. Every character starts with one heart. And if you want, if you like, say, want to hit somebody, you got to get over there. You got to get over the the, the scenes, uh, the target number. And if you do, fine. Then you have effort. That's how much damage you do for it. So that way, that's that's how things are done in this game. 
And, you know, monsters can have more than one heart. People can have more than one heart, but you got to earn them. I'm going all over with this book because that's the way, that's the way I see it. So, so what else do you have? You have different efforts too, because if you're doing effort, you have basic effort, which is D4. Weapons and tools are D6. Guns are D8. Magic and energy is D10. And then you have a D12, which is the ultimate. It's stuff that you can add on later if you get like, say, a crit you know, a critical hit or something like that. Uh, they also have something called hero coins. Think uh, inspiration or bennies. And you can only get one at a time, just like that. And you can you can transfer it to other people. You can use it to add a D12 to anything or to re-roll something, things like that. Something real simple. So to make a character, you have six points you distribute for your six stats. And then you have four more points for your effort because you can add pluses to the effort too. You also have defense, which is something you get from your, your I think your con and your loot and whatever. We'll get into loot in a minute. Now, now that's what you subtract if somebody does X amount of points to you because every 10 points is one heart, okay? And if you get hit and you go down, uh, the GM will roll a D4. That's how many rounds you have to stay alive until somebody can get to you and stabilize you or something like that. There's also on here, there's things like new races. There are, uh, you know, other, other things like that, like a magic overhaul. There's advanced magic in it, but magic is really like point and shoot type thing. Real easy. Once again, you're rolling over the target number. So, you have uh, different races. You've got the elves. If you're doing fantasy, you got the elves, dwarves, and, you know, that kind of thing. I don't see any halflings in there. But they do have, add, like, gerbilins, which are basically goblins that you can play. You can also play turtles, which I forget what they're called in here. They really, they're so, something like turtles, yes. So you can play a turtle, which is nice for, for the fantasy. And the warps, you know, the sci-fi ones may have, have different different characters and other things like that. And the book is just chock full of stuff like this. It's really nice. The GM section is gold, absolutely gold, because it will, it will really help you when you want to have to plan an adventure. I mean, here's Ghost Mountain. Here's the, here's the map for Ghost Mountain. Is that not cool or, or what? And it's very, it to, 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 to me, it seems very uh, point crawl based. You know what I'm saying? Um, here are, let me, let me pull some monsters up here. Let me show the monsters. Oh, da, 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 world's monsters. Dooby, 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 doo. Huh, that's interesting. The only thing, one, one of the downsides, no index. I know that's a, that's a sticking point for me too. But at the same time, there are certain games I'm willing to overlook it, like the second edition Hyperborea. I was willing to overlook that because I could still find things easily. And we've got there 119. Okay. Well, I mean the, the, the monsters kind of. Okay, here's the monsters. Here's what they. Here's here's what the. Here's the. Uh, the monster listings. Look how look how easy that is. Look how easy, if you can see it, how easy that is. What you have is a picture of the monster. You have how many hearts there are and what the stats are. It's plus five to stats, plus eight to, eight to weapon effort for this, the Avenger. And then it tells you all the stuff it can do. Okay, any special abilities or anything like that. And then like one paragraph of what it is. That's it. That's all you need. That's the kind of game this is. is. They like to play it with one shots, but I can see you playing with a camp as a campaign. And of course, in the back, they have all sorts of, of tables like Hero Essentials and a lot of loot tables. What is loot, may you, may you ask? Well, it's your equipment, but it's also your ups. What I mean is they will add to your, to your stats, like to hit or something will add to your strength or depending on what you do. It's just the stuff you find, you know, it's basically treasure is what it is. And, you know, there's, there's, uh, you can, you can just, you know, the treasures are just, it, I like the way they lay it out. And, you know, 
uh, here's Alfine basic loot. An adventurer's pack, torch, bedroll, scrap, scrap of jerky, apple, pipe, and rope. And, you know, I got a miner's pack, a battle axe, and harness. So that will give you, that'll give you a plus to, to hit. Sword and scabbard. Very easy. Very easy to use. Like a traveler's garb, it'll give you plus one defense. Warhammer, it does five to ten damage. Plus and plus ten. And also stuns the target for one round. So that's the kind of thing you, the more loot you get, the better you get. They also have something called milestone paths here where you can get better in your class, which is nice. Um, and uh, milestone abilities are basically, oh, I'm sorry, milestone abilities are basically um, advances in your, advances in your, your class, like the warrior. You, you pick one starting ability like Slayer, Defender, Pit Fighter, Starting Loot. They're starting loot. When you pick starting loot, you get one from your class and three from the general loot. Milestone abilities, they go up when awarded by the GM, usually for something like, oh, I don't know, a uh, crit or something like that. And so many of those, you get a milestone. So many crit pluses. Uh, they also add in the GM section stuff like timer damage and things like that. Timers, you know, where you put a, a die out there and say, okay, you have that many rounds before something happens. Okay, fine. Anyway, this is a wonderful, wonderful game. Uh, where can you get this? You can get this at two places. The Modifius website. That where you, That's where you can get the hardback, which is what I'm aiming for in the future. And it's... Um, I believe it's $43 American. I didn't write this down. Why didn't I write this down? I don't know. And you can also go to Thrive Through RPG where you can get this in the PDF for something like, hmm, what did I pay for this? Like $24.95, something like that, maybe less. I'm sorry, I don't have the exact figures this time. I got so excited. You don't want to do this. I just, but try it out. Try it out. It's the Index Card RPG Master Edition. And I'm sure there's a lot of better reviews on this, on this channel, you know, on, on YouTube. But, hey, it's got Old Man Grognard's recommendation. Okay? So you go out, you try that, and you try it, and you tell me how it is. And if you, if you would like, if, if you like, you can go down there and hit the like and subscribe button and bring the bell. Woohoo! Ring the bell. Yay! And uh, it'll tell you whenever I put one of these bad boys up again. Anyway, all right. Well, that's it for me this time. So, bye bye. <laughs>